I want to talk just a little bit about affirmations this morning. I had a client ask me about this, and I'm an EFT practitioner, which is short for Emotional Freedom Techniques, or I just call it tapping. And this is a meridian tapping that you do, and it's energy work, it all is. But his question for me was about affirmations, and he does these on a regular basis, but he didn't feel like he was really getting the result he wanted from his affirmation process. And my answer to him is, well, affirmations work really well. They work great, but they take a long time, at least in my experience, it takes a long time to affect personal change through the use of affirmations. That's not to say that they're not good or not valid. It's just that there's a way that I know that you can jumpstart that process. So I explained to him that affirmations are to boost your energy. And if you're saying them and you're hearing that little voice in your head that's saying, oh, no, you're not. You don't, you're not, you don't deserve this. You're not a good person or whatever. You have that little negative voice going on that the best thing to do is not to ignore it or just try and override it because that's you getting your own attention is to go in and use some tapping and actually talk to this little voice and I would say something along the lines of this I can give you a demonstration uh, for instance if you wanted to say um, oh gosh I'm trying to think of something um, I'm a good person, I deserve to be happy. That's, that's a nice affirmation. And you're, you're saying, I'm a good person, I deserve to be happy. And the voice is going, no, you're not. Not really. Not so much. Think about that relationship you have with your brother. You're not really that nice. And do you really think you deserve to be happy? Maybe a little happy, but how? You know, and you get that little thing going on in the back of your head. So I would say... Let's use some tapping and jumpstart our affirmations. Now, the way that EFT works is that we are wired just like, uh, like a motherboard and a computer. And this energy, this electrical charge that flows through our bodies is measurable. It's not anything we were weird. I mean, it's energy work, but, but it all is. And we know that this is a real tangible thing because if you've ever had an EKG, you know that they are measuring the electrical output of your heart. An electroencephalogram, they're measuring electrical brain activity. And sometimes they use that to determine whether or not you're still alive. So these are, these are real measurable things. So we're electrical in nature, and we know this energy is flowing through our bodies all the time. And if it's flowing unimpeded, we're, we're going to feel good. If we have an impediment to flow, then it creates a problem for us. So, this electrical charge that flows through our bodies flows along the acupuncture meridians. And the diagrams of these have been around for a long, long time. Nobody really knows how long. So that's our wiring. That's a schematic of our actual physical wiring. Now, what tapping proposes is that if you experience one of the big three so-called negative emotions, and that would be fear, anger, or grief, Grief and sadness are the same thing. It can cause a disruption in the flow of energy through your body. It causes a short in your wiring. So what they found is that if you tap these meridian points and speak out loud that we are so beautifully designed to become well and to be able to help ourselves that you can actually identify where the short is in your body and request a repair of that short just by talking about what's going on. Now, there are a lot of ways to tap. I am an expert at this. I've been doing it for a lot of years. If you're just beginning, I have videos and you're going to want to tap with some videos. Um, some people say bad things about scripts, but I think that they're very useful. And then take some notes as you work with me or with whoever you're working with. And then you can come back and revisit that issue and change your wording up. In all of my long videos that are available for purchase that are pain videos, I tell people to make them as specific as they possibly can. 
Um, I'm also thinking that it's a good thing to go through at least one time using my wording. Make yourself some notes. Think back and do the tapping portion again and use your own wording because I'm good at this. That's why people come to me. So I, I, want, to be, I want to be helpful. I want this to work for you. So back to affirmations again. So I'm a good person. I deserve to be happy. And so it's not quite working out that way. So let's just do a little tapping. First here on this outside part of the hand and just say, Ooh, I think I'm a good person and I deserve to be happy. But every time I say this, I've got this little voice in my head that says, mm, not really, not so much. So what's up with that? But I choose to be okay anyway. I completely love and accept myself. So every time I say this affirmation that I am a good person and I deserve to be happy, I have this little negative voice. I'm going to just honor how I feel. And I'm going to honor this voice. And I'm going to allow it to talk. Good. Okay, now let's go to the top of the head. This little voice that tells me I'm not good enough. I give it permission to speak. It's perfectly safe to let this part of me speak. It's just a part of me. It's not anything bad. I allow my full self to speak. And I embrace all the parts of me. I do love and accept myself. And I love and accept this voice that says I'm not good enough sometimes. I love and accept and honor the little voice in my head that says I don't deserve to be happy. I honor that. And I'm open to healing this now because I completely love and accept myself. Okay, now hold your wrist points. Breathe. Say peace. Okay, good. Now, let's go back in. You've given some voice to that little, you've given a louder voice to that little voice. Go back just to the top of the head and say, I am beloved by the universe. I love myself. I deserve to be happy. I am happy right this minute. I am a good person. Every day I embrace all parts of me. It's perfectly safe for me to be happy. It's safe for me to like all the parts of me because I love myself and I honor all of me. It feels good to be happy. It feels good to be a good person. I love being a good person. Hold your wrist points. Peace. Now that's just one way that you can use some tapping with, uh, with your affirmations. Affirmations are intention. And the best way to make use of intention is to pair it with action physical action and tapping is physical action. So when you put the two together you really jumpstart the whole process and I think you're gonna love it. So I want to see everybody out there saying good things to themselves and tapping. I'm Sharon Smith. I'll see you soon.